Hello everyone. Now I'm going to tie a fly. As you can see, it's a split wing uh, mayfly. The body is pheasant tail. The wings are uh, partridge and CDC, of course. So for the start, like for the tails, I'm going to use cocktailion, one of the best tailing materials ever. Uh, for the body, I'll use pheasant tail. For the ribbing, I'll use very thin silver wire but you can use whatever you want you can use copper if you like it matches nicely the pheasant tail body then i'll use cdc for the wings and partridge mixed with cdc so let's start first uh, oh yeah one one more thing uh, instead of like making it like this dull without any uh, indicator you can add indicator in between wings and it will uh, enhance visibility of the fly. Uh, if you use light colored CDC, it's not so important. First step, of course, would be hook in device. Secure it nicely. The thread is nano silk by Semperfly 18.0 and it's very important to use this one well this very thin one not the exact this one but this one is perfect uh, because it's uh, very easy to uh, create too much bulk on this fly and you will see why there are too many layers on it first step is going to be adding some um, some tails so just take a couple of strands of strands of uh, cocktailion, align them first like this, and then pull them out together. So one body length or one hook uh, one hook length is okay for the tail, but uh, the length is not so important for the proportions. Uh, for the throat, it's more important for stability of the fly. So cut the excess. Now, what's important to use its uh, wire. So I'll take a little bit of silver wire. Now, you want wire to be on the near side of, of the hook to towards you, like this, like so. Now, you can press very hard, secure the wire. And now I like I like to this the, the hook is size 14 so for this size of the hook I, I tend to use only four strands of pheasant pheasant tail and you can catch them here okay now notice how I build up my materials here at the thorax part now I'm going to pull all those materials back and a little bit towards me. So when I tie, uh, the, the, the way how I pull my left hand and the way how I wrap my thread it's is going, going to annul the rotation. So if you just do it like this, everything will go away from you. That's why I, I like to pull all the materials towards me. So after I finish, they stay centered like so. Now go back and in the middle you can go just a little bit forward and backwards to uh, create the taper over here and when you reach this part that's it done now wrap the pheasant tail of course in the opposite direction then you, you have wrapped the thread and later when we wrap the wire everything will be reinforced now after you secure the pheasant tail uh, completely you have to cut it out like so and now reinforce it with the thread wraps of the wire and what I like to do is I like to make two turns of the wire at the back. It's like a hot spot with silver or whatever wire you're using. Sorry for this. So now wrap it in the direction of your thread that you wrapped your thread. 
try to make even turns and now cut it here catch it here and then you can break it that's like the easiest way to do it just take a couple of turns very tight turns and then hold your bobbin and cut everything now after you cut your wire you can just do a couple of more turns over here and secure everything okay see everything is centered well done now what you need to do is you need to prepare once one uh, partridge feather like so so remove all the fluff from down part of the feather and everything you do should be the same for both sides of the stem now pull this like so and break this tip this is it so you need this V shape of the feather over here now you can pull those feathers like this align them and put them on the top of the hook take it take a few wraps and then make one good very very tight wrap cut the excess now what I like to do is to this is going to make things easier later for me just split those halves make them go away from each other and if you do this okay I'll have to go on the hook here you can do it with your fingernail like so so make them go away and it's going to make your life easier after you go with a CDC and mount CDC here so go in figure of eights and make it go like this now usually I say take two feathers more or less the same length triang triangular shape like so and align them now what if you don't have two two feathers or just like you're too lazy to do that like sometimes I'm you can use like two very very different in size feathers but uh, try to use same shape so look to align two same shapes like sometimes it's the middle of the feather sometimes you need to align the tips sometimes you need to align the bottom so look at this feather here these tips here are shorter than these here so I, I want my feather this one is perfect I want my feather to be aligned with the tip of this larger feather like so I can remove these pieces from here so you have two feathers aligned what you need to do is to pull those back like so and the length from the stem to the tip of the first barb is going to be uh, the length of your wing so don't make it too long now with the tip of your scissors remove the tip of the feather and now pull everything like this now catch everything here with two wraps don't pull tight but keep the tension on the bobbin and now pull with your left hand when you feel the bump it means that the stem has gone through the thread okay this is it now pull it tightly like so now I want to remove just one of these CDC feathers the other one I'm gonna use for the wing case cover now I want to go a little bit more back and this is it now the next step is to add a little bit of thorax material and this is squirrel dubbing with a little bit of UV and of course just try to make as thin dubbing noodle as you can because you're going to wrap it in a figure of eight through the wing and you don't need too thick dubbing noodle to do that actually it's going to be a problem it's going to make some problems for you if you do that now cover the back part of everything here you can see that like the, the body is not uh, there is no thorax and the body is not that long so just 
cover it until the beginning of the body. Now go back, pull, put with your na fingernail everything like push it. Now take it here and divide. Now you can check is everything equal. If so, you can like proceed to the next step. That's like figure of eight as I told you. This and now go here. Now pull everything back very tightly. You want to create your wings right now. So everything is going to be created just now. Pull this stubbing more tightly if you want and go with this stubbing into the wings. Push them back like so. Now with one turn go to the front. Now it's easy as you can see it's already divided. It's easy to go with this feather through those wings. Now one, two, just to make make it very very safe. Now pull forward and then take a few wraps in front of it. Now what I like to do is I don't like to cut it right now. I like to make way my whip finish like so and push this butt end of the feather backwards. You can do it with your nails if you like a little bit. Okay, after a few more wraps, it's done. Cut the thread by pushing scissors. Sorry for the shaking. By pushing scissors and cut the CDC butt like so. As you can see, this is finished fly. Okay. Now let's take a look around the fly. From the bottom looks like a real mayfly. You can't see the tail but it's there. From upside looks like a normal mayfly. From the side again it has like a really nice model color because of the partridge and you can use your brush to brush out those legs if you like. Like so. When you use your floatant Use your floatant for the thorax part as well. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, share and subscribe. And see you next time, guys.